Welcome. This study drug preparation and administration video is a supplement to the in-person training for the Frontier clinical trial. To introduce the components, you have the mini fridge and vial, the kit box, the infusion pump with attached pump instructions, sterile wipes, IV tubing, a blunt tip needle, 20 mil syringe, the weight-based dosing chart, a patient information sheet, the enrollment form, hospital chart insert, and a patient bracelet. Let's begin with the mini fridge and the vial. When we look at the vial, we want to ensure that the temperature tag is in good condition, that there remains at least a visible portion of white along the temperature tag at the bottom, and the integrity of the vial is intact, the label is legible, and it is not expired. Within the infusion pump case, you will find the study drug administration kit, which apart from the saline, includes all other materials to administer the study drug once authorized by EPOS. The enrollment form is critical to be completed in full. It must include the vial ID, which is found on the label of the vial, confirmation that all inclusion and exclusion criteria were reviewed with the EPOS physician, and any side effects that may have been seen after administering the drug. The IV line prep comes with an easy peel tab. Avoid using a sharp object to open in case of damage. If at any point during the IV line installation, you want a reference guide, there is a chart attached to the infusion pump holster. Break off the yellow tab. And when you open the infusion pump arm, you want to line up the yellow tab with the yellow arrow inside the infusion pump and the blue tab with the blue arrow on the other side. You want to be careful when you install the blue side arrow that it does not get caught in the infusion pump arm. As a reminder, you do have the laminated cards attached to the pump holster if ever needed. Close the arm and make sure it lays flush. As a reminder, it is critical to ensure that you have EPOS approval prior to administering the study drug. Confirm that the temperature tag on the vial has at least an area of visible white at the bottom. Confirm the dose with EPOS using the weight-based dosing chart, and then using the syringe and needle from the administration kit, draw up and mix the appropriate volume of NA1 or placebo into the 50 ml saline bag. It is good practice to prime the infusion line, but it is not necessary with these IV lines due to the air filter at the patient end. Once the IV is connected to the patient, the infusion can begin. Turn on the pump. and then press yes to enter the library, and then yes again to repeat reaction. Once it runs through the parameters of the infusion, press run to start the infusion. If you do not immediately see the screen to repeat the reaction, lift the lever on the back of the pump holster to remove it. Scroll down to repeat reaction and press yes to confirm, and then run the reaction. After randomizing a patient, don't forget to call the research office to report the enrollment and leave the paperwork and used vial in the study drug drop box in the emergency department. Thank you so much for your continued participation and efforts in the Frontier Study.